Alright guys, so um, uh, how do y'all this Red Wolf? I uh, still running through my spear series right here. And a thing that I often see distinguished from spears that I don't think should be is gigs or amphibian fishing type spears. Um, these are largely thrusting spears, but um, I've had some fun practicing with these and I'll show y'all some stuff. But these are three very broad different categories of fishing spear that you're gonna see. Um, this is the primitive style. You'll see where you, this has just been batoned and split out and it's got some stick wedges in here. Um, a lot of survival schools and class type stuff you'll see and bushcraft type stuff I guess is what I'm actually trying to say. Um, we'll show you doing this style which works really good with bamboo and hollow stuff on wood. It's harder more complicated um, but do what you got to do. It's a style. It's a technique thing. I'm going to do a video um, doing some comparisons more specifically on those sometime in the future as everything works out. But um, And this is a commercial tying. This is sort of the European way. Um, if you ever seen a trident in a movie, this is a trident. It's just a fishing spear. It's not like the best melee weapon in the history of the world. It's a little fishing spear. I think these were originally popular in Greece for uh, eels, if I remember correctly. And you also get just these self spears, especially these longer, thinner ones like this. So you can just pluck it. You know, get, usually come in like this and you just get your short jab. Um, sometimes you see them throwing like a javelin. Um, these have tend to have an advantage on smaller game in that you can, uh, you've got more points, so you don't have to be as accurate. You don't have to be as skilled to hit them over the, uh, the single one. And you also have the option where you're basically trapping it against the ground instead of just stabbing it. And um, I'll give a quick example of that at the end of the video. Um, these are really neat. One of my favorite uh, games I've been playing out here. If I when the water's up, but only you know six inches to a foot deep, um, I practice by stabbing or throwing it at leaves and stuff in the water. It's pretty good. It's used to getting used to the refractory and all that. Um, and survival application, your primary thing with these is going to be fish and frogs. Um, there are barbs and some better things you can do to catch fish. Um, but I, I want to cover that in a, uh, a more advanced thing because fish are have a lot of different textures of scales and amounts of scales. And um, there's different designs that work better for different fish. And so I'm going to cover that a little bit more fully. But um, I think that's enough on this long ramble. I'm going to show you a little bit on... Um, some technique with these um, with each one of these different ones to make a little bit of a point we're down here and we've got our handy dandy fake snake right here and I'm back uh, particularly with this bamboo when it's really lightweight I got to hold about four foot back on it but I can grab it I've got a pretty good chance of catching it now with the snake it'll hopefully wind up in there but you'll see that I didn't actually hit the log. So I can trap it in place with that, but I've still got to get in here with a stick or a knife or something and actually perform the killing blow. Now this works better on um, smaller stuff like, um, like a fake frog here so that we can hit it and trap it in and that works a little bit better um, and you know the reason why we put the extra tines in here is this is a lot harder for normal people to hit like that you can see I'm having more trouble getting it to penetrate with the self point on it and just for the sake of being out here doing it, here's our proper gig. And that's why we go through the effort to carry this extra pound that costs $5. So, uh, 
I don't know. Until next time, this is Red Wolf signing off. Hope y'all like that. Hope it was a little bit informative for you. Got any thoughts or comments, let me know. And uh, we got a little bit more testing to do, so y'all hang with me.